What's going on my precious gems? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host Frosty Cones. And welcome back to another Pokemon Duel video. I hope you guys had a safe New Year's uh, Eve, day, night, celebration thing, whatever. If you guys went out or did anything for New Year's, I hope that you guys stayed safe. Obviously, you're safe enough if you're able to watch this video. So I guess that's pretty cool. Um, we actually got a new guy out here on the screen we have mega charizard x i actually pulled him uh in the new year's uh drawing or booster whatever with the chain level the guaranteed chain level i got a charizard x and i got what else did i get oh oh i got a i got a zekrom so i might use that zekrom to power up my current one or I might want to use it in a deck where I have Zekrom, Zekrom, and Reshiram. But going into this deck, we're going to be trying something a little bit different out. Um, I might have lost my mind. <clears throat> but we're going to try and run two Megas on a deck. We have Charmeleon into Megazard X. We have Zapdos, Ho-Oh, Sceptile, uh, Tapu Bulu, and Tapu Koko. The Sceptile is just a Mega a Sceptile going into Mega Sceptile. Um, the plates... Obviously are the Mega Plates for Charizard and Sceptile, and then I believe I have Max Revive and Recycle. Either Max Revive and Recycle or Gold Block and Recycle. Um, it's a little risky running Recycle um, because a lot of other people like to, like myself, like to use... Oh, we're getting a bot game, so I can kind of talk about this deck and we can try to test it out from the get-go. But... Yeah, this deck is pretty difficult. If you guys watched yesterday's video, definitely be sure to check it out. I do talk about some things regarding the channel. Not like too much. Not like any huge big updates or anything like that. But um, there definitely definitely is some mentions regarding like the... Not really plans, but just like just talking about the channel in general. And what I intend to do in the future and all that good stuff. But if you it went even further into that video, you'll see uh, that I had tried rocking out with Charmander into Charizard, and that was hard. That was, that was like, way too stupid. Um, this uh, Queen's Cup event has been way too stupid. Honestly, um, I hate this event. It's really dumb, but uh, it's cool that I was able to get Mega Salamence. So, we'll probably be doing a video with Mega Salamence, I'm not too sure. Um, I just want to kill this Greninja so I can secure a win and keep moving about my day. There we go. <clears throat> Yaga. So yeah, I think Bulu with Tapu Koko is a little bit of a double-edged sword. Um, Bulu does negate weight, and um, I believe it secures my Grass-type figures. Maybe Grass and Bug, if I'm right. Maybe just Grass. Grass figures that are hit with any kind of moves that uh, displace them, so they won't be displaced. So like Moon Geist Beam or Scary Face, that won't work against these guys with Tapu Bula next to it. Let's go ahead and unlock this, and ooh, we actually have another booster we can unlock, so let's go ahead, check it out, see what's going on. Um, I know I kind of just like dove into things, so before we get too far ahead, if you guys are enjoying the Pokemon Duel content on the channel, if you guys are ready to see what we got going on for 2018, then definitely be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Socials to the left on the layout and in the description down below. And uh, no, I don't want a fusion. Are you kidding me? This isn't Dragon Ball Z. We're not fusing. Get out of here. All right. So it looks like we got an opponent. And oh god, this is going to be really annoying. I don't really have too much to answer to a Lunala. I don't think, actually. Wait, what am I talking about? I have two Megas. I just need to be able to get Charmeleon to evolve, really. So, what we can do to ensure that, I'm not entirely sure just yet. But let's go ahead and get Coco out and see what he wants to do. Okay, it's setting up the little net. Setting up the safety net. I, I dig it. I can get behind it. Um... Actually, actually, McFactually, why don't we do a little something? Do a little something, something. I'm actually gonna move my phone up here so I can look more forward and not down. Channel forward. Um, 
let's go ahead and get Tabu Bulu right here. Um, what I was saying about Bulu and Coco being a top, uh, Tapu edge sword, a double edge sword, is the fact that they can't move through each other. Um, that makes it really difficult for them to get the best usage out of their abilities um, when near each other, and that makes it really annoying um, when you're in a tight spot. But hopefully, we don't find, we don't run into any of those. Um, but this is definitely going to be a challenge getting this Charmeleon to a Charizard. But I also kind of wanted a little bit of a challenge, really. Um, I didn't want it to be like too easy to. To, I didn't want to just like start off with, you know, just a Charizard and Deceptile, and I can just click the the Mega button and start rocking out. Now I wanted to actually, um, actually wanted to give like some form of challenge, like some kind of obstacle that we have to go through in order to to get all of the Megas on the field. So again, hopefully we can pull that off, but uh, I don't I don't know how we're gonna do that. The best chance I have is somehow getting something burned or paralyzed, and then, like, Raikou looks like the best bait, honestly. And what would be really nice right here would be to use, oh my goodness gracious, sweet. Um, I might actually advance with Charmeleon here. Because, yeah, he can use his Combuskin to, to come after Charmeleon. But, uh, if we, if we... I was literally just about to say if we luck out, but... Nope. But the cool thing, let me tell Yeah, so I, I have Max Revive. So the cool thing about this deck is survivability. Um, one of the things... Come on. It would have been nice to land on Quick Attack, but you know what? I will take it. Uh, I don't want to get rid of Tapu Koko right now. Um, it'd be cool to to capitalize off a of Melee Melee Wish, but um, if anything, I might use Tapu Bulu to to negate either our Zapdos. Ooh, look at this Beta Zapdos. I say we go ahead and use our Max Revive right here. Actually, no, I want to save that. Um, oh, he's going to surround me. I should have just gone for the attack. And I need to use Charmeleon for getting Tapu Koko. I mean, I need to use uh, Coco for getting uh, Charmeleon. Evolved. I don't know why I just completely fumbled on all of my words there, but let's go ahead Move Sceptile. We need to get on the defensive already. Um, I'm also just not too familiar with Like this, this is the first time I've used this deck. I put this deck together and I was like, all right, this is gonna be fun. Let's do it Um Um, I don't know what to what to really do here. Um, Lunala, actually, if Lunala doesn't get us knocked out, never mind. Man, like. I had to land on miss, right? The like on my Zapdos, the the four percent miss that I have at this point like paid money essentially to to increase, and I can't land on a single like. <laughs> oh wow, Pokemon Duel, you guys! Pokemon Duel is crazy. Pokemon Duel is a crazy game. Dude. Yeah, like, I'm. This is where I really miss having double chance, to be honest. Come on. Yes. Okay. 
that's something in the PC, because we've done nothing but just get shafted this whole time. Um, honestly, I may just want to click the mega button right now. It'd be nice if I could land on stealth hit on on septile, but I'm just gonna go for I'm gonna go for kills. Can someone tell me? Someone tell me in the comments. Someone that has been watching my videos for a really long time. How is it that my luck is so bad? Like I had a much better chance of taking out the Raikou with just Leaf Blade than I did the Gengar. Because I had to rely on either landing on Leaf Blade against Gengar's White or landing on Tail Missile on his purple. And... And I can't kill a Tapu Koko. My league rating is gonna plummet and this is why I decided to do this after the monthly ratings reset because this is some donkey doo doo. He's double chancing on me. Watch, I'll land on Rainbow Wing. Oh, no, I'll just get knocked out, because that's how things work. I'm so spoiled off of uh, rewinds that... Uh, I don't understand. Fuck this game. I hate this game so much. Go ahead. Forfeit. We're, we're just gonna forfeit that one, because I don't... This is where I think to myself, where could things have possibly gone wrong? When I said that I just wanted to make a fun deck and use it. I better not get relegated, that's all I'm saying is, I. this is why I don't really do this kind of shit. But, we'll, uh, we'll get another duel and... Here we are. Um, th that was actually relatively quick. Ooh, Coco and Emu, so we can use both of the three double chances. At least he doesn't have any Megas. It's cool seeing uh, meta decks that don't have Megas. Um, but like, look at this. This basically has everything you would need to survive in the high tiers. He's at 3,600. Look at us, we're at a... a Peasantry, 3,200 dropping. But I think with positivity and with a clear head, we'll be able to triumph through the fire and flames. We will carry on. I'm going to lead with Zeptile. 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 That's a level 10 Tapu Koko. Oh my god. Wow. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That Coco? Do you guys see that Tapu Koko? Look at that thing. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so I think here uh, we're probably just gonna try to go for the, the full swing on Subtile, possibly, but at the same time, wait. Oh, actually, if I drop Bulu above the Subtile, then I'll be able to... Um, to seal off the entry point, but an attack from the Lunala comes off. Sweet. That's awesome. Honestly, so what we can do here, peep game, peep peep, peep peep, little bow peep peep. Yes, and we get a full swing off. Now the question is, oh wait, no. That's not entirely good. Um. Wow, <laughs> all the way across the field. We just shot him off. We just threw him into oblivion. All right, Zapdos, your turn. Strut your stuff. Thank you, Zapdos. I know that you had a really bad time in the last game, but we are, we're finally making our way to, to keeping my sanity because, oh my goodness gracious.
Oh, double chance from the Lunala onto Zapdos. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Um, I need to find a way to get through to the Mew. And I'm, I think I'm just gonna go for it. My Charmeleon is not level 10. Um, so that does make things a little difficult. Oh yeah, what's the chain level on this? Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh Bobby. And I always have to check plates now. Tropical energy, max revive. Double chance, okay. I nearly forgot to move Hoa onto my goal, so I'm gonna have to do that next turn. <sighs> Ooh, dodging bullets, my dude. Dodging bullets. Um, I'm, I realize I'm like all like in the the camera. Ooh, yes, that's actually really good. That's really good. Um, let's go ahead and. Get Tapu Coco and throw him up here. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch all fall out. <clears throat> I need to get through to the Mew. That's that's the main objective here is to get through to the Mew. If I can actually I should be able to full swing. I should be able to full swing if I can if I can land on that against Lunala, I can get Charmeleon close enough to to Mew so that way we're gonna go for it. Let's go for it. Cool. Um Do I want to remove anything from the game? Um Lunala is kind of a problem. I will admit that. So is the Blaziken. Um, but I really need to be able to assess the fact that I just let my Tapu Koko get surround killed. Um, I need to assess like what really is the the threat in the situation, so that way we can try to pull through. But we're not going to because Lunala lands on Moon Guy's beam, which is totally okay. Oh, I was like, uh... But that's actually because of Tapu Bulu's ability. Tapu Bulu's ability uh, prevented it from getting dragged out. So, that was really cool. Um, I'm gonna have to go for the Sceptile. Maybe I'm I keep trying to go for full swings, but I shouldn't be doing that. Ooh, never mind. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about that at all. So we're gonna throw it out tile that way. And cross my fingers that we land on Thunder Crash versus a purple or a miss. Dude, that is just unreal. Wow, that is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. And I'm really sorry that you guys had to sit here seeing me going through. Never mind. I can't complain. I can no longer complain. Um, let's go ahead. Wait. Oh, I was trying to figure out. I was like, wait. It's supposed to be my turn. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and fire off my Sceptile Light. And this way, I'm Mega Evolving, I'm getting my Ho-Oh and my Zapdos out of the PC. And I'm gonna go ahead and just sit here in front of, in front of Lunala. And, um... What other abilities does this thing have? That's it. So, Grass and... Uh, dragon types do more drag uh, damage, but I don't have any dragons on this deck. Except for Mega, uh, Mega Charizard X, but I can't have two Megas in a, on the same field at the same time in the first place. Um... Okay, I, and I keep forgetting that this isn't the Queen's Cup, so, um, yeah, go for it, dude. It's over. Awadine. You know what? Uh, I was about to be like, screw it, let me just go for, go for the Gusto and just start charging forward with my Sceptile, but I don't want to do that just yet. Um, we do have to recycle, so, I mean, I'm not too worried about, um, not, like, getting FOMO, uh, basically, of using my, my subtile light in this manner. Um, I'll get another chance sometime throughout the duel. Bro, what are you, what is you doing, baby? What is you doing? The top of hook, yeah, he's it, that was obvious. That was insanely obvious. And our, luckily, our opponent keeps getting caught off. Ooh, is that a party connecting signal? Ooh, ooh, my friend. Now, I don't, I don't think it was a good idea, really putting. Uh, Sceptile in front of, or putting Ho-Oh in front of Sceptile because Sceptile has a really high chance of knocking out Ho-Oh with a uh, plus two Leaf Blade. I don't know if you if we want to call it plus two or how we want to word that specifically, but um, if he respins on Leaf Blade essentially, then it's over for Ho-Oh. There goes Tabu Coco. Um, Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to keep, I wanted to keep, um, damn, damn it, okay. I'm so careless. I wanted to keep Coco out because I wanted to be able to, to use it to evolve Charmeleon. But now we just gotta find our way to the Mew. He's gonna throw his Blaziken out. Or not. And at this point, I think we have the Mew cornered. Mm. Man, oh man. Oh man, how difficult, how difficult can this be? Oh please, attack me, attack me, thank you, thank you, please, what? There's no way, there's no, I almost want to max revive my Charmeleon here. I almost feel like it's it's worth it. I can't believe that just happened in front of me. Mm. I can I can always max revive again. I do have recycle. Not this time, dude. Not this time. Come on, Charmeleon. You're gonna let Mew run away. You're letting me run away, run far away from its problems. We're the problem. 
Oh, that's not happening. It, does he really not care about me getting a Charizard? You better not land. Don't, don't do that. You stop it. Come on. <sighs> I can't believe this, dude. Like... <sighs> This, it's literally, literally games like this that make me not want to play Pokemon Duel. Games like this and the last one, where just constant fuckery, back to back, just constant, and yeah, I get my breaks or whatever every now and again, thank you, but... I know, I know I made some, some bad plays, but there's no way, like, he increased his hypersonic. This guy increased his hypersonic, so that's what, a 50, literally an over 50% chance, since the totals of the wheel pieces are, or of the wheels are, um, actually, uh, what is it? I can't, I can't think of it right now. Um, it's actually 98% the wheels. So this is above 50% like Mew is able to land on hypersonic against my, I believe, 32% um, searing shot. Like, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I have gusto. I have the gusto. I am gusto at this point. I am gusto. Got me gusto. Oh, that's a foolish mistake. Um, let's go for it. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Honestly, it would have been better if I landed on... This guy has a gold block, right? Yeah, he's got a gold block. He's gonna go block with Lunala or Zapdos. I could really see uh, Lunala going up there. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and move Tabu Koko over to this entry point. I wanna close that area off as much as possible. And we continue to struggle. Nice. Okay. Liddy McTitty. And really, I might want to... I'm going to try to sack off my... My ho -Oh. Not... Oh, no. That's... That's fine. That's fine, honestly. I thought... <laughs> He thought that he was gonna land on stealth hit. He went for it too. That's obviously what he was going for. But oh my god, um, I actually have a headache from playing Pokemon Duel so much today. Um, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Hello. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm uh, seeing that justice again. Wow, so this video is over 30 minutes long. Wow. I can't believe this. All like It's always like the second or third duel in the video. I guess he had the odds with him, whatever, but at the same time. Just really unfortunate to not see something like work the way that you intended it to. 
Yeah, I'm trying to... Come on. Thank you. Um... I'm trying to wait on using Recycle so I can... I can get my Charizard X off first and then Recycle. Um... I'm also trying not to give my opponent any more free chances to just get his plates back and make things more difficult for me than they already are. Um, he is shuttle flipping here, so he's probably going to go closer to Zapdos and cover up my entry point, actually. Yep. Well, I guess we can do the same. Because we can actually... Oh, oh, maybe it might be worth it to actually uh, recycle here. Depending on how this turns out. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. So the question is, do I go for the Mew or do I paralyze? I'm going to go for the Mew. I'm gonna go for the Mew. That might have been my only chance, really. That might have been my only chance. Nice. Oh, so then he can... Is he gonna... Um... I'm not really sure why he did that, because unless I'm missing something, uh, I can easily do something about this. He could just use his Lunala to go up to Tapu Koko. Oh no. Oh no. Better attack my Ho-Oh. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so fucking done. I'm Wow, that's amazing. All right, well, I'm ending today's video. That's it. I'm done. I'm done for the day. Fuck Pokemon Duel. This game sucks. This game is actually trash. Oh my god. Um, I can't believe that. I just wanted to show Mega Charizard. Maybe I shouldn't have ran, um, ran the Charmeleon. I don't know. Like, I honestly do not know. Maybe I should have just gone with regular Charizard with one move point and it's like Charizard is a trash figure the Charizard line in Pokemon Duel is absolute garbage Charman Charmander is trash Charmeleon is hard enough to evolve and then Charizard I mean yeah it's got when you level it up to level 5 I believe it gets a 60% chance to land on Flame Wheel it never lands on Flame Wheel when it needs to as many times as it ever needs to, which is normally at least just two times. <sighs> but hopefully, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying this deck, and hopefully we can get some kind of cheese to work off. It is very cheese heavy, honestly. So yeah, I mean I can't be too surprised. But hopefully we do get to see this pull off sometime this week. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed seeing me struggle and all that good stuff, definitely be sure to leave a like in the video, on the video actually. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment any goodies you might have for the comment section down below. Um, hashtag Trashmander again. I mean, I said Charmander sucks for yesterday, but let's say uh, Trashmander um, and Trashmillion and Trashizard. Garbizard actually. Hashtag Garbizard. Um, in the comment section if you guys are still with me here at the end um, I already said to subscribe to me but go ahead and hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that way you guys do get notified of whenever I do upload to the channel because sub boxes are kind of weird on YouTube so well that being said I'm gonna get about a fear and bounce you guys thank you for tuning in to channel 4 I'm your host Frosty Cones signing off peace <laughs>